If you've been to copywriting websites or read books on copywriting or listen to MP3 presentations, uh, one expression you hear all the time is that you have to join the conversation inside your prospect's head. Now, I've understood the words, but I never knew what that meant. Most micro-niche marketers are one-man bands. You don't have a, a research department, and you certainly don't have a staff of behavioral psychologists on hand to uh, get inside your prospect's head. So what I've done is I've developed a, a system that I call uh, emotional marketing with the four P's and it sets up a whole process, a whole template uh, for you to write effective copy so you can compete and be able to do it quickly and easily and I think in many cases more effectively than uh, even some professional copywriters uh, may do and I'm going to show you how that works. Here's the same ad with the four P's uh, written out. Promise, picture, proof, and push. In the promise section, you want to identify a distinctive feature and you want to connect it with an emotional payoff. And you're only writing to one person. In this case, uh, my lead is be a good neighbor to the environment. So I'm looking for the altruistic person who wants to feel good about making a contribution to society because uh, I'm figuring that's the guy most likely to spend $500 for a lawnmower. Uh, you can test. Uh, you're not going to be right every time the first time, uh, but you're only writing to one person. The picture section, you want to write uh, a word description of the prospect using and enjoying the product and getting an emotional payoff uh, for doing it. If you can find a graphic that reinforces what uh, you've written in the copy, you're way ahead of the game. Uh, a good source is iStockPhotos.com that has thousands of royalty-free uh, royalty uh, photos. Uh, the next section is proof. You have to provide some social proof uh, that indeed the product is uh, what you say it is. Uh, this is where you would put in a testimonial. In this case, there were no testimonials. So I've mentioned that uh, the Epic 21 is the number one uh, best-selling lawnmower at Amazon. So that is an element of social proof. And the final element is push. And you have to provide the prospect with a reason to act now. In this case, it's a limited time offer with six months uh, no interest financing uh, and an Amazon promotion that's going on. So promise, picture, proof, and push, and uh, in that order. And the next section will connect the emotional benefits to what we're doing here. Okay, in this case, the product that we're selling is the Epic 21 inch uh, cordless lawnmower. You want to scroll down to the product description. Uh, if this were a ClickBank product, you'd go to the sales page. And you want to read the whole thing. And you have to take it on faith that the manufacturer or the copywriter has done their homework, they've done their testing and that they've identified the distinctive uh, features and benefits that they feel will best sell their products. So you have to go through here and you have to pull out features and benefits and make a list of them and the reason that you're pulling them out and making a list is that later on you're going to connect them to emotional payoffs and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, you've established your 4P framework. You've gone to the manufacturer's product description or the ClickBank sales page, and you've read the whole thing, and you've pulled out and made a list of the features or benefits or features and benefits that the manufacturer or the copywriter have told you are important. And this is where the emotional marketing part comes in. The site I'm on is paperclicktoolbox.com forward slash 37 dot htm and what we have is something called the 37 Livingston emotional benefits linked to purchase behavior and these are 37 specific emotional benefits that people will use to make a purchase decision uh, what the Livingston's who are professional psychologists assure us is that when people make a purchase it's to satisfy one or more of these 37 emotional needs 
or benefits. Uh, I call them the emotional payoffs. So what we want to do now is we want to go back to your list of features and benefits and we want to link each one that we find important with a specific emotional payoff. And what I've done is I've uh, made a, a spreadsheet of each of uh, the 37 benefits. Uh, and you can see that a couple I've used here are feeling unique and feeling trustworthy. Uh, there are others in here also. But the point is that you want to make the direct connection between the product feature and the emotional payoff. That's the key behind the whole process. Okay, here's the quick summary. You have the promise, picture, proof, and push framework. Uh, you want to fill in the, uh, uh, the blanks. You go to the product description or the ClickBank landing page. You pull out the features and benefits that the manufacturer or the copywriter has told you about. You go to your list of emotional payoffs. And you connect as many emotional payoffs as you can directly to the features and benefits the manufacturer is telling you about. Uh, the, the, the steps are the product, feature, the benefit, and the emotional payoff. You link them together, and I think if you follow this framework that you'll write uh, better copy and you'll also do it faster.